This is the DIY Garden Minute by Spoken Garden, teaching you tips and tricks for your garden in minutes. Find more quick topics at SpokenGarden.com and click on the Listen tab. Today I want to tell you why fall planting of perennials is such a great idea and why your perennials will thank you. Fall is here and that means that fall garden to-do list is calling. One fall garden task is to plant new perennials or transplant perennials around your garden. Whether these are new plants, older perennials that need to be moved, or perennials that need to be divided and placed around other parts of your garden, fall is the best time to plant perennials. And here is why. The ground is still warmish from the summer heat, plant roots are still actively growing while the top of the plant is starting to slow down and go dormant, there is more moisture in the ground now, hopefully from fall rains, and the extreme heat of the summer has passed and the extreme cold of the winter isn't here yet. Taking all of these points into account makes for a healthier and more robust plant with lessening transplant shock as compared to planting in the spring with colder soils and potentially still frozen ground. Also, planting in the spring can lessen and completely stop a plant from flowering that year depending on the plant. So, planting earlier in the fall is a much better idea. Plants like rhododendrons, boxwoods, dogwoods, shasta daisies, coneflowers, azaleas, hostas, and many others benefit in this way being planted in the fall. Now, fall is here and that means seed sowing for vegetables and flowers. Make sure to have your very own Little Dibby or Dibby XL garden tool to sow your seeds at the right depth every time. Our exclusive one-of-a-kind seed sowing tool has graduated depth markings to help correctly sow your seeds. Find your perfect color of Dibby on our Etsy store or on Amazon. Links for each of these will be in this episode's description. Happy gardening! Thank you for listening. You can find other quick tip garden topics on our podcast page at SpokenGarden.com and click on the Listen tab at the top of the page. And make sure to subscribe to this podcast so you don't miss future quick garden episodes. We'll see you in the garden.